Hey what's up guys, my name is Adrian Clark from Zulu8 and today I'm going to teach you how to optimize your viewport in Cinema 4D. Alright guys, so you might come across some really like high poly geometry sometimes. So when you like download a 3D scan for instance, obviously the, the geometry is all baked down and there's no normal maps, there's no displacements. It's kind of just all high poly to get that detail into the um, 3D scans. So obviously this isn't, isn't really optimized enough to be able to use um, in the industry because like you need to be fast and need to texture things easily. You need to be able to move around your viewport and see things clearly. But obviously you can see how much this lags. So today I'm going to teach you how to optimize this. Um, and so you can move around freely and do what you got to do. So first of all, you want to go to Edit and then Preferences. You want to open up where it says Open GL, and you want to make sure this is turned on. So obviously, um, it will come up with this uh, text box saying you have to restart Cinema. Click OK, and what you do is obviously anti-aliasing. If you guys don't know what this is, this is just like how clean the lines will be displayed on your screen. So if you see along here, you see this line on your grid. It's got all these little jaggers in it, and that obviously is to do with anti-aliasing. So if you pump this up to, say, 32, those lines will display more clearly, more smooth. Um, so obviously, I'm not too worried about seeing these lines as clear as you need to, so I just want to turn this off, keep it to none, so, so that we can optimize this as much as possible. So if we close this, obviously save your scene if you haven't saved your scene already. Um, then once that's done, just close up Cinema, give it a restart, open up your scene again. When you've got your scene open, and we turn it to lines. Obviously you can see how high poly this geometry is. Like it's ridiculously high poly, but look how easy it is to move around now. And this just speeds up the process of doing literally anything you want in Cinema 4D. Um, texturing, modeling, adjustments, anything you like, lighting for instance. Think about how hard it would be to move around this scene if I didn't optimize it with, um, with lighting and stuff like that. So yeah, I hope this quick tip helped you guys. Um, if you want to see more tutorials like this, head to our website at zulu8.com.au and for more awesome content, uh, hit us up on Instagram and give us a follow. Cheers guys and have a good one.